So, as you may know, there's a split screen option across two monitors on uh, PC in Black Ops 2. Now, there's several ways you can do it, and there's one right way and several bad ways. Now, this is maybe not the best way to do it. Uh, you know, you, you hook up your controller, you have your keyboard, your mouse, you start the game, you split the game, not horizontally, you split it in vertical, you hit apply, and boom, you have you have your game across two monitors. Now, this is maybe not the best experience, since I have two different monitors, I have different refresh rates, different resolutions, and all that. Um, and on top of that, I run the game in windowed, which creates lots of input lag. You, you might not notice it in the video, but I can assure you, I hate the input lag that it causes if you, if you play it in, uh, in windowed mode. This game simply does not work well in windowed. So, you want to run the game in full screen mo mode and across two monitors. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's not very hard, but it takes some time. This is on an NVIDIA graphics card, not AMD. I'm sorry AMD guys, I don't know how to do it on your on your system, but I'm sure you can figure out something. No, okay. I, I cancel the game because I don't want to mess with it while I mess with my with my display settings. First things first, you want to have your two displays in the same refresh rate and same resolution. So what you want to do is um, change from 1440p to 1080p uh, since that's the res resolution of my smaller display. Uh, you do this, now it looks better. Uh, by the way, I have my, my main display as my first and my second display as the other, um, simply because I have my keyboard and mouse on this side. Um, you know, it might look strange this, but that's how I like it. Anyways, um, now, you want to check that you have the same refresh rate on both monitors. I have my secondary display at 71 Hz, that's the most I can get out of it, so I have created a profile with CRU, which I use to overclock the monitor. I have created a profile for, for my se my first display as well. Uh, you see it here. Um, 71 Hz uh, on 1080p. Okay. So, when that's done, you check uh, you check the right frequency uh, and hit apply. Now you should have your both displays in the same resolutions and same refresh rates. Um, okay, that's nice. Now what you want to do is open the NVIDIA control panel and configure this setting. Surround. Um, right here. You turn off all your programs that interfere. You check both your displays. Now there's a bug in this for me um, that uh, makes the program crash if I have it this way. So I have to move my displays around. I don't know really why. Um, I would love to tell you why, but I can't. Um, you make sure that you have the right resolution um, and the right refresh rate. As you see, I have since I have both monitors at 71, I can enable 71. Um, and I hit enable. And as you see, uh, I now can move windows freely across the border here. Uh, now you put uh, full screen, you change your resolution to what your system should be, you check that you have the right refresh rate and all that. And you hit escape and apply your settings. And let's see.
Okay, so the game is now in full screen. So this means you don't have any any taskbar, any window, no input lag whatsoever, except the one you get since you run the game in 71 hertz instead of 144 that I'm used to. Okay, so you can now hook up your Xbox controller, activate split screen, uh, you go to zombies, and start the match. There's no input lag, and um, and the game just runs beautifully in in full screen mode compared to windowed mode. Now there are still some black bars. They have um, they have entered into the game when you split screen. I don't know if you can can get those away or not, but. This is the right way to utilize the split screen um, ability in the game and I really recommend you try it if you have two displays. Hope you liked it.